as the world transforms itself uh, and goes through the digital transformation, um, there is uh, you know new new use cases uh, are appearing and new applications are, are are coming out as well. They are um, having to think about do I have the right network in place? You know, um, and often they don't. They know they can gain efficiencies from, for example, um, there's this other buzzword out there, uh, you know, computer vision, or this is now where cameras can be monitoring a specific part of a process or monitoring people coming into a plant or leaving a plant. For you to be able to, you know, do the real-time analytics of that video stream, uh, you can't typically do that over a, uh, you know, a public uh, cellular network. Uh, the lat latency is simply just not good enough. Uh, sometimes even you know Wi-Fi doesn't work, or the Wi-Fi at least the type of Wi-Fi you have in the, you know, your plant won't work, and you need to start thinking about other types of networks, such as private LTE or or private 5G and the various flavors private 5G comes with. So you know that's that's one use case. Another another driver for these uh, private mobile networks is extended reality, where they want to improve the productivity of their maintenance teams. They want to be able to fix things quicker. Uh, where they then arm the uh, you know the people in the plant doing the maintenance and the repairs and the fixes with real wear glasses, for example, uh, or other types of glasses. That's just one of them. There's many of them out there, and and again for that to work, uh, you know, in an effective fashion, you you, you got to be uh, you know computing, uh, and you know at the edge, but you also got to be transmitting uh, you know over a private network at the edge. I would argue a third case that that's 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 interesting where you know everybody thinks about oh yeah I need a private 5G network or I need a private you know LTE network well not always sometimes yes you need a private private network but it could be a uh, you know private basically LP WAN or private or also known as LoRa uh, this is especially true for the cases of where you want to con remotely monitor and manage uh, you know uh, the condition of your machines of your equipment where you don't need to necessarily to do that, uh, you know, a private LTE or private 5G network, it can be very well done over a private LoRa network. And the advantages of a private LoRa network is that it has it's long distance, so that you know a LoRa net, one LoRa net gateway in your plant can cover up to four to yeah four four to five miles, and it can have thousands of sensors behind it. And these sensors are battery operated, so uh, the battery typically lasts up to up to five years, right? So it's, it, that's one of the advantages of, 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 of leveraging private LoRa, you know, as, as one of these other private networks, right? Where suddenly, you know, this constraint you've had with, with cellular networks eating a lot of your power um, on, you know, on your battery operated device, well, that's no longer true with a private LoRa 